Okay, so what I want to talk about in today's lesson is the idea, so we've talked about correlation and what I want to do is I want to look at like how we measure correlation and there's a very specific way that we can go about actually measuring cor correlation and putting a number on it. So that's kind of like what I want to focus on in this lesson. So measuring correlation. So, so measuring. correlation so this idea of measuring correlation now what we can use is what's known as a correlation coefficient coefficient So a correlation coefficient. And this correlation coefficient, so if you think about it, it's like a scale, so it is. And that scale, it goes from minus one right the way to zero, and then all the way up to plus one, or positive one. So this correlation, so this is like, this is the scale of the correlation. So generally what you're going to have is you're going to have a number that's somewhere between minus one and plus one. And based on that number, that will tell you something about the, the type of correlation. Okay. So if we think about the extremes, so what we have, if we take this, this side down here, the minus side, what it said is that you have a perfect negative correlation if you have a minus one value so it's, it's a perfectly negative correlation then on the other opposite extreme if you have a positive one correlation coefficient or correlation value you have a perfect positive correlation and then in the middle if you have a coefficient if you have a correlation coefficient of zero there is no correlation so there's no correlation between your data So no correlation. So there are the extremes. So then you have somewhere in the middle then. So in the middle, so you can have, for example, a high negative or a high positive correlation. Okay, so so this is like the this is the scale or the co the correlation coefficient scale. So it goes from one end being a perfectly negative correlation to the other end being a perfectly positive correlation, and then in the middle you have no correlation at all, and then you have varying degrees between no correlation and a perfect correlation. Okay, so let's think about like what some of these might look like if we were to look at them using a graph for example so okay so let's have a look um, I just want to make a little bit of space for myself so keeping these ideas in mind so let's think about what these might look like So let's start off with, let's say, a perfectly positive correlation. Okay. Now. So imagine we start off with, with a perfectly positive correlation. So imagine we have something like this. 
and we're going to have our so our x axis and our y axis if we if we have a perfectly positive correlation so imagine then we have a line going something like this if it's a perfectly positive correlation then our values okay are going to fall right they're going to fall along the line like this so this would be so we can see that this the line has a positive slope and this would be an example of what's known as a perfect uh, a perfect positive correlation and it would have a correlation coefficient and we will just abbreviate this as c c okay so this would have a correlation coefficient of one okay or you can say plus one or so so this would be an example of a a positive correlation or a perfect positive correlation you have a straight line and then the points are literally just all on that line and it's it has a it has a, a positive slope if you like now if we go to the far extreme and we look at something like if we look at the perfect negative correlation so imagine we have something like this and again we can draw a line if we have perfectly negative correlation, we're going to have a line. It's going to go something like this. So it's going to be the opposite of this. And then what you're going to have, you're going to have your values. Again, they're going to be perfectly on this line, but they're going to be going in the opposite direction. So imagine you have something like this. So you can see, so you have your X and your Y. So as you move from left to right, the y value, as x gets bigger, y gets smaller. In this case, as x gets bigger, y gets bigger, okay? So this here would be an example of a perfectly negative correlation. So it, it would have a correlation coefficient of minus one. So then if we think about then let's say in the middle then like something like this so again if we draw a graph so we have a graph something like this we're going to have our x value and our y value we will have let's say a line okay we'll just put a line like this going through it doesn't matter in this case where the line is but you're going to have no no correlation okay where a correlation value is there so your values will be let's say all over the place they're not on the line or they're not following any particular pattern so something like this so this is an example where you would have a, a correlation coefficient of zero so that's like let's say middle of the way okay so that's so that's like let's say the, the three extremes so then what happens then is then you get somewhere in between so you're going to get values that are in between in between these values so let's say if we have we could have something like this so imagine we have so again we have so we have our so this is our x and this is our y and we have let's say a line going through it like this and we could be getting values something like that are kind of like this so they're kind of roughly on the line they're not exactly on it but they're kind of they're kind of on it and you can see that they're it's following it's following a negative correlation okay so it's going to have and um, so this could have like let's say um, a coalition or um, a correlation coefficient of let's say it might be equal to minus 0 0.7 so in this case this here will be a it will be a high negative so a high negative uh, correlation 
Okay, so high negative. So the, it's not perfectly in line like like you have, let's say, with with a correlation coefficient of minus one, but it's kind of it's not exactly on zero, but it's it's somewhere it's somewhere in between. So this would be mine. So this would have this would be an example of let's say a minus zero point seven coalition um, correlation coefficient. So then let's say then the other way. So we could have something here. Let's say midway between no correlation and a positive correlation. So if we had something like this, and then imagine you have your straight line, like so, and we put in our values. So imagine this is your x, and again your x and y axis. So you could have something that looks like this. So it's going to be the same as, as your negative one, but just in the opposite direction. So you could be getting values like this that are kind of not on the line, they're not all on the line, they're not all off the line either. Um, so you could be getting something, so this here would be an example of, um, so for example, you, this might have a value of coefficient correlation of 0 0.5, for example. Okay, and this would be, so it has some positive correlation. So it has some positive correlation. Um, so that's what we mean by this idea of this idea of what's known as the correlation coefficient. Okay. Now I abbreviated it CC here. The letter that they actually use, let's say in maths, they use the letter or. So or, okay. So this is equal to the correlation correlation coefficient. So what this really lets us be able to do then is it lets us be able to, um, like describe using numbers, for example, the relationship between two variables. So we might look at something like if we were to look here, let's say at a positive correlation, there could be something like, you know, you could have temperature. So the temperature outside and the number of ice cream sold. Okay, so that'd be an example, let's say, of like of a uh, of a, a positive correlation. So as the temperature, so let's say, so this would be low, high. So as the temperature increases, what happens is the number of ice creams that are sold also increases as well. So that would be an example, let's say, of a positive correlation or a strongly positive correlation. So an example of a, of a negative correlation then might be something like, imagine if you had let's say number of days, so let's say if you take a student, so number, number of days missed from school. And then let's say their, their grade or mark or schoolwork mark, okay? So it can start up here, let's say, so this is, it starts up fairly high, but, and let's say, so this is low and high. So let's say the less days, so if you're not missing any days, you know, you're coming in, you're doing all the work and you'll see that, you know, you'll have a grade that will, that will correspond to that. But as you start to miss time, so as this X value or the number of days missed starts to increase, you see, you'll see like there's going to be a drop in the grade as well. Okay, so it's going to go, it's going to go from high to low. So again, this would be an example, let's say, of a negative correlation in relation to just something in everyday life. Um, so, so that would be, you know, there's, there's loads of different examples, but that would be one particular example. So let's say an example of 
if you're to say like no correlation in, as, at all as well. So you could say something like, let's say time, time spent watching TV and then the size of the TV. So for example, so this, so, so it goes from low to high and then it, it might go from small to big. So if you were to go out and survey people and find out, you know, how much time do they spend watching TV and then measure their TV set, you're, you're not going to generally find that there's going to be any correlation there between that. So you'll probably just get random data that's all over the place. So people have big TVs, other people have small TVs, whatever the case is. So that might be an example in real life of, let's say, where there's no correlation between two variables at all. Another one might be, for example, if you were to measure people's IQ and their shoe size. Okay, generally, you know, you'll find that there's no correlation between, between the size of your foot, for example, and the size of your IQ. So again, that would be another example, like just in everyday life of um, like data where there's not going to be any correlation between the two. So that's just, you know, generally, let's say just the three kind of extremes from no, from a from a strong negative correlation to no correlation to um, a strong positive correlation. And then there's all different examples, for example, there's, there are all different examples that would fall somewhere in between these as well. Um, so, so that's it really, and hopefully that makes sense. And yeah, and just the, the letter that we use in maths then to represent it is just this small or which represents the, co the correlation coefficient. So it's just a way that we can measure, put it in number form, the relationship between two variables yeah, when we're looking at it. Okay, thanks guys.